everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you my recommendations of MAC eyeshadows for beginners who are just getting into MAC, they want to get some nice colors. MAC eyeshadows are pretty expensive, they are $14.50 if you buy them in the little pot like this and then if you get them in the pan like this, I think they're, I'm not sure, I think they might be around $10 or something. But I'm basically just going to be showing you my recommendations because I know they are expensive and there's so many different colors to choose from. You don't want to pick the wrong one. Um, so this is going to be beginners, what I recommend for beginners who are just getting into it. When you first start buying MAC eyeshadows or just any eyeshadows, you normally want to start with neutrals. So that's basically what this is going to be. So even if you're not a beginner and you just want to know some good neutral eyeshadows, then you can watch this. I'm also thinking about doing my spring recommendations, which will be more colors. So I picked about 10 of my favorite eyeshadows for beginners. So I'm just going to show them to you and get in detail and all that stuff. So let's get started. So my first recommendation, which I have recommended to so many people, and I know a lot of, lot of people have this color. It's very popular. This is All That Glitters by MAC. And this is, I don't know what the finish of it is. I think it's a Velux Pearl. That's what I... I'm guessing. I think it's a Velux Pearl. I'm not sure. So this is All That Glitters. I've had this for a long time. This was actually my first MAC eyeshadow and I have hit pan on it as you can see that. It's just a very pretty light shimmery color that I normally use on my lid. It's also good just to put all over your lid if you don't have time to do like the crease in the outer corner and all that. This color is super pretty and pigmented. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pigmented. And normally if someone asks me, I'm looking for a good lid color for MAC, what do you recommend? I recommend them All That Glitters. It's a very pretty color, a very silky finish, and it looks so pretty on any skin tone. My next recommendation would be Mulch. This is actually my favorite brown for MAC. I use it like as my crease color all the time. It's so pretty. So it's just spelled M-U-L-C-H, obviously. And it's just a very pretty, pretty brown, and it has a little bit of glitter in it, but what I like about it is it doesn't have too much glitter in it. It's just the perfect amount, if you could see that. I really like mulch, and I definitely recommend it for your crease if you're looking for a good crease color. I really like all that glitters on the lid and mulch in the crease. That's a really good everyday neutral eye look. My next recommendation, which I actually love this color, um, you can wear it on the lid or the crease or however you want. This is Amber Lights. And it's a very pretty goldish bronze color. So it's very silky. This is one of my like silkiest eyeshadows that I own. It is very pigmented. You actually have to be really careful with this color because it's really easy to get too much but this is my favorite color for the lid I actually haven't used this for a while because winter just passed but I use this a lot in the spring and summer so I love that color another one of my recommendations if you are looking for just a nice black color to deepen up your look I really recommend carbon this is just a matte black and this one is actually in the pot but mine has a little bit of glitter in it because it got mixed with some colors but I promise you it is a matte color and it's just, it's very pigmented. It's basically a black, and I really like this just to deepen up your look at the outer corner. Kind of give it, it's really good for smoky eyes, pretty much everything. It's a really nice black. Another one of my favorites, this isn't really a neutral, well it's not a neutral at all, but I really like this if you are a beginner and you're looking for just a simple smoky eye, you just want a nice smoky color. I really recommend Night Divine. So that's how you spell it, and this is just a very pretty smoky gray color. This is really good if you just want to do a nice simple smoky eye. You can put this like on the lid and just smoke it out. It's very pigmented and really pretty. Um, so that's what it looks like on my finger. It's a really nice smoky color. My next recommendation, this is a really good color if you just want a nice neutral look with just a pop of pink. This is expensive pink, and this is a Velux Pearl. And this isn't really that pink, so this is really good for those people that want something a little bit pink but not exactly pink. It's just like a peachy pink and it's really pretty for spring and summer. It's really pigmented. It's on my hand right there. So expensive pink is definitely one of my favorite like peachy pink colors. My next recommendation would be Naked Lunch. This is a really good lid color just like All That Glitters, but I do like All That Glitters a little bit more than this. Um, I do use this for a highlight a lot more than a lid color. 
it's just a nice shimmery light color. It kind of has a pink hint to it. It's very pretty. Um, you're not going to be able to see it on my hand, but it's a really just nice shimmery color. It doesn't have glitter in it, so it's really nice. My next recommendation for beginners is Cranberry. This one is not very neutral either, but it's not that bright. This is really pretty just to go in the crease. Um, it's very, very pretty. I really like it. It's just a cranberry-ish color. It's very pigmented too. There it is on my hand. All MAC eyeshadows are pigmented, so I really like that color. Okay, another one of my recommendations, if you're looking for just a nice, simple highlight, this was actually the first highlight that I ever got, and if you don't know what a highlight is, you just highlight under your brow bone with an eyeshadow. Um, a lot of people use, like, just light colors. I really recommend Brulee, and this is a satin. Basically what it is, it's just a very light type of skin tone color. Okay, so I saved the best for last. This is my all-time favorite eyeshadow from MAC. Out of all the ones I have ever tried or ever seen, this is my favorite. It is not available anymore. It was limited edition. I think you can still get it on some wholesale sites. Um, you might be able to find it at a CCO. But this is Grand Entrance, and it is a star flash. This is my favorite lid color. I like it more than all that glitters. It is so pretty. And honestly, like this feels like silk on your fingers. It feels amazing. And it's so pigmented, so creamy. This is a really, really pretty color. And I use this on my lid all the time. I've made a huge dent in it. Um, so if you can't find this one, I actually have a similar dupe for it. A dupe that I found for Grand Entrance is actually from Urban Decay, and it is their shade Sin, which is right there. And they look pretty similar, and they look really similar on the eyes, too. So that's what they look like next to each other. Sin just has a little bit more of a pink undertone to it than Grand Entrance does, but they are very similar. They're actually pretty identical. So that is Sin and that's Grand Entrance. So that's what they look like on my hand. Like I can't even tell them apart. So if you want Grand Entrance, you can just get Sin from Urban Decay, which is a permanent color. It's not limited edition or anything. You can get it like Sephora or something. So those are my recommendations for beginners. Um, I know that MAC eyeshadows are very expensive, so you want to be careful which ones you get. Um, I would recommend spending the money on a MAC eyeshadow if you really want high quality. MAC is really well known for their eyeshadows because they are such good quality and such good pigmentation. So I hope this helped you out. Please leave your favorite eyeshadows for MAC in the comments below because I really want to know them. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Um, MAC eyeshadows are pretty expensive. MAC eyeshadows run for $14 and $15, $15, okay, gosh, okay. Hey guys, so this video I'm basically going to be, ugh. Hey guys, so in this, hey guys, that's weird. Dog, can you stop barking? It would mean a lot, thanks. That dog just wants to bark really loud when I decide to start talking. That's great. You know, I like dogs who bark when I'm trying to film videos, but then when I stop filming, they stop barking. Anywho.